take one, featuring Evan and Gigi. <clears throat> okay, so after my associate and I have been researching DMT, we have question to Joe Rogan slash anybody else has DMT experience knowledge. Question number one. Nightmares. So if you produce DMT every single night and um, Joe Rogan talks about having like an alternative consciousness, like, in, like while you're awake and when you sleep, you live in a different kind of world or a different kind of consciousness. Like what is, has anybody had a bad trip on DMT that could correlate to a nightmare? Or something like that. Or like, uh, like you dream every night, you know, you could wake up from a nightmare and you go back to bed. So like DMT, could you have just like a really bad experience and just be like freaked out of your mind for a while? Or uh, like, how does that work? Question number two. So I want to know if DMT is at all dangerous because it's the chemical produced at birth and death. And of course, you know, it's ex produced when we dream every night, but if you take it voluntarily in potentially excessive amounts, uh, is that really hazardous? Like, and is there a reason why? Uh, I mean, they say this stuff makes you question God, etc. All those kind of crazy uh, mysteries of the world. <clears throat> but also, you know, reverse that lens and be like, you know, is there a reason why we forget our dreams the way we do? But then also, how meditation is probably key to memorizing your dreams better. Tapping into that. I don't know. So, yeah, that's question number two. Right, question number two. Question number two. Number two. Yeah. <laughs> we like visual feedback on the thing. All right. What so, it's like. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> that's it. Yeah.